Well, good morning. It's like 5.05 in the morning. We're up. We're ready. Um, I stepped outside to relieve myself, and I could hear gobbles across the street. Yeah, we're dressed and ready to go. We're going to walk up to the big field and see if we can pinpoint anything closer today. Yeah, not sure what, what's going to happen, but we're going to get out there and give her a whirl. Hearing gobbles across the street still? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're hearing gobbles in that direction. But we're heading that away. It's called getting a shot. I mean, what do you think that is? They're like... 300 yards away? I don't know. Why are they down in his little bottom there? Twenty-five. It's well past shooting. All right. I guess we just go sit down. I don't know what else to do. We were able to to locate birds and hear birds this morning, but um, some of them, two groups, were across the street, and then we got one group. That's probably a few hundred yards um, onto our neighbor's property. So we're just gonna go down the line here pretty much to where we were yesterday and just set up decoys and hope. I mean, I think they've flown down by now. Um, maybe we can get them to come our way. They really kinda got quiet and I think since fly down they haven't, haven't gobbled at all. Was hearing a couple hens yelp back in there so they they got some ladies with them, um, but we'll see if they break off and get them to come over to us. Me and Jude decided it's time for breakfast and some coffee. Behind me is where those turkeys were feeding out in that field, but they're gone now. So we're gonna just, we left most of our stuff in the blind. And to be honest, I think I'm just gonna leave the decoys up because we're just gonna eat and get back out here and uh, maybe get a mid morning silent tom since they aren't gobbling today breakfast is gonna happen jude found some good luck charms in the woods today a couple feathers in his cap it's only the second day we still got plenty of time Evie, Evie Schmeevy, hi, hi, yes. Oh, did you miss us? Did you miss us? You go potty. Hey, come Evie. here. Let's go potty. Come on, come on. Go potty. Get out there. Go potty. She's like, it's raining outside. I'm not going potty.
Oh, this is what I needed. Right here, cup of coffee. So what I like to do is just a little heavy whipping cream. Probably about a tablespoon. And then got some uh, maple syrup. Not the fake crap, the real stuff. And again, you do about a tablespoon of that. And add your glorious coffee to it. Our go to coffee, it's not Folgers, it's not Maxwell House. This is the stuff right here 8 o'clock coffee. I highly recommend this, you guys. Go give it a, a shot. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy this cup of coffee and we're gonna drive around the block. We might even drive some other roads and just see what turkeys are doing. And if it looks like it's pretty dead out there, I mean regardless we're probably gonna take a little nap, but then we'll get out there mid morning. Actually I might even stay up, go out and hunt for another couple hours, come back. Then take a nice fat two hour nap and go out for like kind of the evening. That's the plan. We're gonna feast. We're gonna make a good breakfast. We're gonna feast. Steak, eggs. Steak, eggs. Toast. Toast. Yeah. Yeah. You can make bacon. Bacon too. Good coffee in me. Good coffee in me. All right, long story short, we got coffee, we got breakfast. We started going around the block and we got like 200 yards down the road, saw two big toms. I apologize, I thought I hit record on my phone, but I didn't. Um, so we don't have any footage of them, but uh, they are just, they were walking adjacent to pretty much the corner of our property. So there's a pretty good chance these two toms um, they were alone and they could be in the vicinity of where we were um, just a little bit ago. So ended up seeing two turkeys across the road here, the two toms down there, and then there was like four hens or whatever out in that field. So turkeys are moving. Um, so we made quick work of breakfast and we're getting back out there. It's it's uh, like 9, 10. So. 9.30. It's 9.30. 9.27. 9.27. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go. We'll probably sit till at least noon or 12.30, something like that. And we'll come back for our relaxing break and get back out for the afternoon. But let's hope uh, we don't even get that far. Let's hope these two toms are responsive. And uh, maybe they'll answer the call and get fired up and come check us out since they were alone. That's the hope, you guys. like turkey hunting in a thunderstorm. It got pretty crazy there for a second. It was hard to film any of it, but pretty much had turkeys over here gobbling, a couple walking around, and then there was one over here that was really close I could see, but 
I think it made it made it into the pines behind me. We just had one of the most interesting things happen and I wish, I wish we could have uh, understood but so we were sitting here probably not even 10 yards a turkey came running by and right away I was like that's a hen so we didn't think anything of it and it got down into the thick stuff in front of us and Jude was gonna film it and then he zoomed in on it it was a freaking bearded hen big beard on this hen but I think it it was so close to us and it came from our blind spot I think it either heard us move or something like that it kind of spooked it I'll definitely roll that footage Jude took and show you guys that we had a freaking bearded hen come right by us. That would have been that would have been awesome. Ah, uh, that's rare. Yeah, it's definitely a bearded hen. Yeah, we're watching it again right now. That would have been a rare one to get right there. <sighs> we are just not having the best luck, you guys. But anywho, we need to find Jude a new chair. It's creaking a lot. We just heard some really good gobbles pretty much straight in here. It's going up the little hill. That's that head. Let's go make a turkey blind out of that limb. Yeah, no, I'll watch ya. No, I'm good, dude. Jid thought he could pull this heavy branch out of here. Just saw two toms, one puffed up and strutted a bit, a couple times. I think I got a little bit of footage of it. Big old beards on. 